Division number 17, an area model for division, a two-digit divisor. Okay, in the previous video we did a one-digit divisor. I'm going to show you a two-digit divisor. We have 12 and we want to put it into 336. So we put the 12 on the outside to the left and we make a box. And we know we're going to need another box and maybe even another one, so we'll see. We ask ourselves, how many times can 12 go into 3? Uh, it can't but it can go into 33. How many times? Well, 12 times 2 is 24. 12 times 3 is 36. That's too big. We're going to have to go back to the 2. So we'll put a 2 here, and 12 times 2 is 24, and now we do our subtraction. So, sorry about that. We drop the 6 down. It's its turn to come down, and we say 3 take away 4, and we can't, so we have to borrow from this 3. It becomes a 2. That becomes a 13. And now 13 take away 4 is 9, and now we have 96. Now it's the 96's turn to go into the next box. And we ask ourselves, how many times can 12 go into 96? Well, if you don't know, you can do math on the side. Twelve times seven. So let's try that and see if that's big enough. Seven times two is fourteen. We carry the one, put the four down. Seven, eight. Hmm, that's not big enough. But you know what? Can you fit one more twelve in there? Let's see. Twelve times eight. And it's okay to have scratch paper or do the work on the side. Eight times two is sixteen. Carry the one, put the six down. Eight times one is eight, plus one is nine. So the eight fits just right. So now, what we're going to do is, we're going to say 12 times 8 is 96. We do the subtraction, it's got 0 left over. And then see this empty space up here? That's where another 0 goes. So now on the side, you can say 20 plus this 8 is 28. And that's how many times 12 goes into 336, 28 times. Let's try it with this real big one here. So, we know 32 can't go into 1, right here. It can't go into 10 either. Can it go into 100? Yeah, it can. I think it can go in 3 times. So what is 32 times 3? 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 96. So underneath the 100, we're going to write the 96. And it's the 4 and the 8's turn to come down. And 100 take away 96 is 4, right? You can actually do that without having to do the borrowing. If you want to do the borrowing, you can. And you can say, okay, we're going to borrow from this, we're going to borrow from this, and it becomes a 0, that becomes a 10. You could do that if you want to, and then this one has to borrow from it so it becomes a 9, and now that one becomes a 1. Or you can just say, you know, 100 take away 96 is 4, and do it that way. So now we've got 448, and that's going to go into this box. And we ask ourselves, can 32 go into 4? No. Can it go into 44? Yes, it can. How many times? 32 can go into 44 one time. And 32 times 1 is 32. And now we do our subtraction. It's the 8's turn to come down. 4 take away 2 is 2. 4 take away 3 is 1. And now, it's the 128's turn to go into this box. So we're going to put 128 over here. And we say, how many times can 32 go into 128? Well, 32 times 3 was 96. What's 32 times 4? 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. Look at that. 128. 4 goes in perfectly. So we're going to put that over the 8. And now we're going to look at all our empty spaces here. So that becomes 300. That's 10. And that's 4. And if you add them up,
you have 314. And that's how many times 32 goes into 10,048. In our next video, number 18, I'm going to show you how to do it with a three-digit divisor.